Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, hot, 90 plus degree day here in sunny Florida. And we are at Florida Outdoors in Stewart, Florida. And we're looking at a really unique floor plan, uh, the Astoria 1500 series. It is the 2943 BHF, all right? So come sweat with us and let's go look. All right, so as you can see, huge storage area. Nice big doors. These are slam latches, right, which is great. They're held up by magnetics, which is also awesome. Just, I, I love this. Now, this does not have the drop frame, so this doesn't have as deep as storage as some type of models, but trust me, there is plenty of storage. Up here, Lisa, this is where your propane tank would go. These are 30 pound tanks. Um, not sure you could get a 40 in there. That might be kind of tight. If you look up, you will see the awning on this model is the entire side. Huge awning that goes all the way down. And if you scale back down here or scroll back down, scroll, scroll down, it's got a step above step. All right, guys, so it does have a bit of an outdoor kitchen. It's a little micro fridge. There is a cooktop here. Um, the awning does end just before this area. So, you know, if you're cooking out here in the elements, well, if it's raining, you're going to get a little wet. Oh, by the way, it does have electric jacks, right? So you just press the buttons and, and the jacks come down. So um, it will uh, level itself, but it's not self leveling, right? Like a lot of the uh, RVs or fifth wheels, I should say, have the six point uh, automatic leveling system. This one does not. So we're at the back of the coach all, as you see, there's a ladder mounted, which is awesome. So you can get up to the roof to do your inspections. It is pre-wired for a backup camera, which is also great. And look at this huge storage area back here. You don't often see storage in the back. So uh, this is great, All right? It does have an accessory hitch. So if you wanna put on a, a, a bike rack or something like that, uh, you can do that. Uh, I'm not sure you could hook that up for towing. I see there's some weight specs here, but um, it's just an accessory hitch. So let's uh, move on. Oh, by the way, the 50 amp plug does plug into the back. So there is one of your sewer connections. And as you can see, um, your pull is sort of under the slide. So you are gonna have to sort of, at least a little bit shimmy under there to, to get to the pull. So here's your main sewer connection and the poles for it are actually over here in your wet bay. Your wet bay is where you connect all your water uh, to, right, for the coach, um, which is great too. It's sort of a separated area. So if you have a leak or something like that, um, the water will just go out there. It won't flood the entire compartment, which I absolutely love. So a nice separated water bag. So let's look at the numbers. This has a gross vehicle weight of 12,000 pounds. So it's actually not too heavy for a fifth wheel, uh, but it does have a cargo capacity, uh, carrying weight of 3,500 pounds. So when this thing is empty, it weighs under 9,000 pounds. So pretty light. So we're up here at the front. As you can see, it's got an upgraded pin box. It's got the Rotoflex pin box. Um, you also, your storage area is up here. This is where your batteries are kept. Um, your, your spare tire is kept up here as well. And there's some um, storage. Obviously, you can put some more things in there too. So um, yeah, nice little area up in the front. So let's go inside. All right, now it's like 120 degrees in here. So we're gonna be giving you the abbreviated inside tour. As you can see, I was sitting on sort of a love seat. These are theater chairs though. They do recline. Um, the theater, and you can't see it because it's down, but this is where the TV is. This is a televator. And so there's a button, you press a button, the TV goes up. Um, underneath the TV, big, huge fireplace. I mean, that's pretty generous for this size, as well as a bit of a storage. I'm assuming that's where you put your cable or satellite box or whatever, okay? Uh, I did forget to mention there is some storage above your theater seats, okay? As we turn over here, this is kind of a U-shaped bank hat, which is really nice, which also converts into a bed so you can sleep more people here, all right? Then as we get to the back, it's the kitchen, which is really kind of a neat setup. It is, isn't it? Um, we have the refrigerator over here next to the banquette. Uh, let's see if we can open it, there we go. Yep, that's a 12 volt Everchill. Yeah. And then Actually, that's a GE. It is a GE. Yeah, I thought that was an Everchill. Yeah, it is a this GE. is a residential refrigerator. That's awesome. So it works on your inverter. Excellent. Nice. That's great. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Good catch. <laughs> okay, 
So over here we do have double basin sink. Um, this is nice. I like the double basins. Uh, and this is also something that Robert I, I love that. Yeah. yeah, love that little extra countertop space. Just when you're preparing dinner and need, you know, it's just it's great to have. It is absolutely. So we do have some storage cabinets overhead, both sides here of the corner. Nice storage. Um, we do have some storage drawers down below, as well as some more storage here. Yep. Now we do have our microwave with a little storage above that. And we have a three burner stove with an oven. Nice. Right. Now I like the detail work in all yeah. of the cabinets. Look at that crown molding, yeah, right? It's that beautiful. Crazy? Yeah, I mean, there's some nice upgrades. Guys, this is a very basic fifth wheel, sort of, I would call it entry level, right? It's not very heavy, it's on the light side, so you don't need a, you know, a, a dually, right? So, but look at this. This is why we looked at this one. It's a really unique floor plan. It, it's a bunk house, but the bunk's kind of sideways. Here, here, let me, I'm gonna give this to Lisa, all right? Yeah, look at this. So, for a tall man, for those of you who have seen our channel for the first time, I am six foot four. And so we sort of review things, you know, on, kind of with a tall aspect, all right? Uh, if you're tall, you're going to find it hard to get into these bunks, okay? It just, they're not going to be long enough. It just, it is what it is, okay? Um, they've got the little teddy bear mattresses. For short term, it's not too bad, but for long term, they're not very comfortable. Um, so if you're, if you're a child, if you're a teenager, or even a small adult, these bunks would work great for you. But if you're a normal, well, I won't say normal, if you're tall like me, you're not going to fit back here, okay? But it does have a door, so you can, you know, shut this off at night, right? There's some storage up here for your clothing, which is awesome, right? So it's a really unique way to do this here in the back. Um, very cool, right? So let's go up to the front. We'll take a look up there. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tallman's Toilet Test. Ah! We're on a porcelain foot flush toilet, which is awesome. And as you can see, plenty of leg room, plenty of shoulder space. Definitely. Ah! Right. right in front of me, you got your sink. There's some extra countertop space, which is awesome up here. So you can put your toiletries and things like that. Um, there's some storage underneath. And because it kind of goes back in there, you can, you know, store some extra rolls of toilet paper and stuff like that, which is awesome. As you see, there's a medicine chest up there. I can see from the top of my lip down, okay? Again, remember, six foot four. Over here, there is cabinetry for storing your towels, right? Manufacturers, showers require towels. Make sure you continue to put storage in for people for towels. All right, let's get in the shower. All right, if you've watched any of our videos, you know how I feel about glass doors. If you haven't watched, it's the first time you've seen us. We left a video uh, uh, link down there. We did a whole video just about shower doors. You should go watch it. All right, guys. Uh, my head just misses, okay? Shower head, good place. Plenty of width, plenty of depth. I mean, everything is great about this shower. I wish I had really about that much more space like again, I think I was in another RV recently where my head was just about touching the roof. If you've got more hair than I do and it's wet, well, your hair, Lisa, scroll up to the top. If you've got a big head of hair, your hair is gonna be, your wet hair is gonna be touching the roof right here. So not gonna be a thumbs down, not gonna be a thumbs up, but if you're tall like I am, it's gonna present some challenges. Off to the bedroom. All right, as you can see, we're up in the front. Um, this is a queen size bed. At best, I think it's a little smaller. I don't have my tape measure, I'm sorry. Um, if you're tall, your feet are gonna be hanging off. It's just that simple. Or you're gonna have to sleep diagonally, okay? There is storage up above, left and right. To the front uh, side of the bed, there's some sort of nightstands. There is storage underneath. Um, there's USB charging ports on both sides, as well as regular power. So if you got like a CPAP or something you need to plug in, it's got regular power there. Over here is your larger wardrobe area. This is where you hang stuff, okay? And so, uh, yeah, and there's some drawers over here as well, okay? So, guys, this is your basic entry-level fifth wheel. Uh, for, for example, most fifth wheels would have a washer and dryer hookup. This one does not. Most fifth wheels are, say, 15,000 pounds or higher. Most 
guys, not all. So um, this is not your heavy duty top of the line, but this has some amazing features. Great theater uh, chairs. You've got a televator for your TV. Beautiful layout, especially with the bunks in the back. So if it's a couple, this really would be a great fifth wheel for your first time out for a couple. All right, guys, if this is the first time you found our channel, thank you so much. And guys, I apologize, I keep on rubbing my face, but we are dripping wet in here, right? Until we see you the next time, be safe. <laughs>